Okay, what's going on boys? No guides here. I know we've been missing for a couple of weeks, but we got the updated tactics and instructions weekly tactics for you this week. And we're going to go through all of them. I'm going to show you all the tactics and instructions and you can see them and just copy them very, very simply and very, very easily. Before I do start this video, I want to say this video is sponsored by my FIFA School Series. If you do want to get better at FIFA, you can come to my FIFA School Series. And if you don't get better after one month, the guarantee is still there. I guarantee you get better. If you don't get better, I'll refund your money. That is a nil guides guarantee. The only one that offers it in this sphere, because I am that sure. Um, link is down below in the description for more information. And, and don't forget, we still have the Division 10 to Elite Division series. We're just playing basic football. I'll show you every single game I play from the Elite Division. Sorry, from Division 10 to Elite Division. Basic football. My controller's there. You can copy exactly what I do to show that anyone can do it, no matter what age and what level you are. But anyway, back to the video. So let's go into tactics and instructions. We've gone for a bit more attacking tactics. I know there's been a live tuning update for both post-gen or new gen as people like to call it or post-gen people say after live streaming update well, i call it that anyway and the old gen so we're going to go through the differences as well um we're going with the four two three one straight that's the same video uploaded last week that is the attacking variation the more defensive variation will be out tomorrow so stay tuned for that one tomorrow but again you can just copy these tactics they're just there for you to copy it's an aggressive tactic but it's still one that you can close the game out if you want to use this as just your purely defensive tactic you can always get rid of pressure and every touch and this unbalanced. But feel free just to copy these. I'm going through this a million times. I don't need to go through it anymore. But the idea is it's going to be attacking in a 4-4-1-1 type system. With the two CDMs, you do keep the stability. And of course, you have the three camps and a striker, which still makes it a defensive formation, but also a very good attacking formation. Um, for the striker, we've got stay forward, get it behind. For the cam, we got stay forward. And for the lamp and round, we have them both on balanced and we do have the central guy on um, stay forward and the outside guys on get into the box for cross simple so basically stay forward stay central and that that's how it makes that 4 4 one because the strike and the cam are going to be staying forward these guys are still going to be coming back but they're not going to be coming back all the way just like you would do and come back in the fence um one cdm will cut passing lanes to our attack and cover center and the other one basically the same now as I mentioned, for one of these CDMs, if you want to, you can, of course, put get forward on them. Or you can, if you really, really want to, just trigger them manually. Um, but I'll leave them both on sterile attacking. Feel free to put one of them on get forward, the most attacking one. Um, center backs default, left back and right back, as usual. Stay back, conservative overlap, because we don't want to get done with the through balls. And don't forget, we will normally use this formation for most of the game. And what we did is... As we go on to the game, we'll kind of go further and further up. We've got a new formation one to try out. It's the 4-1-2-1-2. Not the narrow, it's it's the wide variation. And I want you to think of it like a 4-2-3-1, but instead of a CDM, you have an extra cam. So as opposed to going with a different setup this time, think of this formation being this one. The only difference is, is you have two strikers as opposed to one striker, and you only have one CDM, so you're making it more attacking. One CDM just goes to the striker type role. Um, as the tactics, basically the same. Use one width, both on post or new gen and old gen. Just try it out. Um, they're still going to be wide. It will still be like left mids and right mids, but you want them to. The reason with the one width is you want them to be like kind of like wide cams. That's kind of what I'm trying to achieve. The 4231 system. It won't be identical. They will still be wide, but I just want them to be a bit more narrow. So don't forget when they are wide, they still stay wide because they're left mids and right mids. One which just makes them go ever so slightly closer, and that is pretty much it. It doesn't make them become center mids, remember that. Um, we've got balanced build up play because it is a fairly attacking formation. We've got loads of forward options anyway, five players in fact. And then we do have forward runs where you do win the ball back. Everyone's going to be making those runs going forward. Think of it more like in a more attacking 4 2 3. I'm trying that. So let me know in your feedback also down below in regard to that. Instructions both strikers stay forward, stay central. Um, as usual, cam on stay forward as well. Feel free to put come back in the fence if you do find it's a bit too tricky to defend with. Left mid, right mid, come back in the fence and get in behind for both of them. And then a the CDM, cut passing lanes to our attacking and cover center. It's imperative that this person's on a step up while attacking. If you don't, you're going to have no one when you get countered or when you're going forward that's going to be sitting back. So you do want at least one player. So don't leave this guy on balance. Make sure he's on a step up while attacking. You need at least one guy. Of course, to stay back. And then for the, both the left back and the right back, we left them on step up while attacking. No conservative for here. Nothing funky going on over there. Pretty much the same as is. Then we go to the 5 2 one, 2 It remains exactly unchanged. Um, the width's just been reduced a little bit. The attacking width. And this is basically the 4 one, 2 one, 2 with the left back and right back becoming like 
wing backs to wingers. This is where the left back and right back are marked. I would say top five formations this year. Maybe even top three, just because the way the meta is with a 4 1 2 1 2. I think it probably is definitely one of the top meta formations. So it's more attacking than this one. And the way it is more attacking is you have two centimeters, the left back and right back, the flying fullbacks, I like to call them. Of course, they go and they fly forward and they basically remain unmarked the entire game. I normally swap Hakimi and Kakare in game or I take Kakare off and I put on someone like Tekatito. Um, those are the tactics. Idea as soon as you win the ball back, you want these guys to be bursting forward, hence the fast ball up play and of course the forward runs. With all my tactics, try both direct passing and forward runs. See which one you prefer. Both on new gen and old gen, I prefer forward runs. That's why I leave it. But I, as I said, for these tactics, I prefer forward runs. But if you like direct passing, I would recommend trying that. Otherwise, if you're not too sure what I'm talking about, you don't know the difference. Just leave it on balance is what I would say. Um, but I put forward runs on these. Um, that's the exact instructions. Same as usual. Stay central, stay forward. Cam, stay forward. Left center mid and right center mid. Both of them are still up while attacking cover center. And of course, you can always put one of them on get forward if you want to. The most important thing is left back and right back. Step back while attacking and overlap for both these guys. How do you send them forward in the game? Don't forget the D-pad tactics. Attacking full backs. Just activate attacking fullbacks, it cancels this out. If you have no idea what attack, uh, what, what, what I mean by, let's say, you know, what are you talking about? What's this? I don't know. They've heard of deep attacks before. Then just put them on join the attack. It's very important you put them on overlap. That was, that's what makes them unmarked when they go on the outside. So they make sure they stay on the outside as wide as possible. And I do use hug the sidelines with this tactic. So that's what I would say in terms of that. And then finally, we go over to the 442. No difference here. This is the formation. Again, if you just want to press, get back into the game as quick as you can. We've got precise possession loss. 60 width and depth to be as wide as possible or wide enough and be as high as possible to press the ball back and win it back in our possession. We've got long ball, so when we do get the ball back. We, of course, the players are making get it behind runs. They're trying to surge forward. Fast bullet play, I think, makes it a bit too, too quick. Long ball, I think, is the perfect balance between being balanced and having fast bullet play. Long ball is somewhat in the middle. We do have our chance creations again on forward runs. Again, if you want to, you can use direct passing. 30 width and again, seven, seven players in the box for most of them. Um, feel free if you wanted to also activate the deep, uh, the, the deep air tactic team press inside the game. Or if you are losing, let's say 3-0 down, you should just pause the game, put it to constant pressure. And there you go. You have a very, very ultra attacking pressing formation. And uh, strikers come back on the fence. Don't forget when you press... You don't want your opponent to be passing in between your strikers and your, and your midfield four. The top tier players, they can either them on stay four because they know when to bring them back. But the truth is, for most people watching this video, you want them on both on comeback and defense. You want to press as a unit with every single player behind the ball, not with your opponent passing in between those lines. Um, we have both the left mid and the right mid on comeback and defense. No getting behind, let them on comeback and defense. You still want them to come back when you're defending. And we have one CDM on get forward, come center. The other one on stay back and cover center. You can, of course, put this player on get forward as well. Don't forget, when you're defending, you will still defend the two. But if they're both on get forward, then that means they'll both run forward. So if you really need a goal, you can, of course, do that. Left back and right back, stay back while attacking. Now, remember, this is a very attacking setup, okay? So this will probably be the most defense. And these three, to be completely candid, are just purely attacking formations. Um, it does go incrementally still. This would be the more defensive one. This would be like the attacking 4-2-3-1. One, one extra striker. CDM goes to striker. Then you have the 5-2-1-2, two, two, which is basically the 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Instead of you've got the left back and right back, which go forward, that means you end up having a four striker set up with one camp and two center mids. And then, of course, you have the extremely high press formation, the 4-4-2, four, four, if you are losing inside a game. Anyway, guys, that is the weekly tactics update. I know you guys want to have fun, but you still want to win. I know you might not be going for the 20 and O's, but you're happy with getting the 19s and 1s as long as you're having fun. Because let's be honest, whoever's trying at this stage of the game, 20 games in a row, I don't know what you're doing, um, especially if you're going for 20 and 0. But anyway, that is that. And don't forget, it's sponsored by FIFA School Series, patreon.com forward slash nil guides. Link is down below in the description or in the pinned comment section, pinned on the comment section as well. Um, patreon.com forward slash nil guys. Full money about guarantee if you don't get better after one month. And thank you guys for watching. Take ease, of course. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.